What's up ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing today? Hope you're well. Cosmic Carry here, bringing you another game of World of Tanks. And yes, it has finally happened. I have, um, after a long hard dredge, uh, that I finally got the 100. Yes, folks, I finally get to name my pause on my E100. Been a long hard road. But uh, I finally got it, and uh, I'm very, very happy with it. <laughs> um, the E100, what can I say? Um, <laughs> when I first started off playing World of Tanks, you know, I started to research the game, and I realized you had to have a, 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 um, a goal in mind. You have to aim for a certain tank, and a few people mentioned the E100. So that's, this is the first tank that I decided to go for. So going through the Tiger 2, the E75, all the other good tanks, finally got my E100. I actually managed to, uh, I didn't buy it until I had enough for uh, both packages. This, this is my philosophy, this is my, this is how I basically play the game. I don't unlock a tank unless I have enough money for all my uh, packages, or all the packages that I want. That way, the grind is mu is a much easier grind, you know, because if you unlock all the packages for the next tank in line, you can uh, you have you can have a good grind, you know. You you don't have to grind grind out those the lower packages, you know, so you can grind out at the higher package for the next tank in line, you know. And so when uh, when you have enough for the next tank in line with the better packages. You continue and you continue so the grind is a little bit different you don't have to basically grind on those lower packages if you do the grind in this particular way you have a much better game you know you, you enjoy world of tanks much much more and uh, this is what I started doing I think around the Tiger 2 or the E75 and I'm always going to be doing my uh, world of tanks grind from now on this way so anyway the e75 love this tank of course you love this tank i'm sorry the e100 <laughs> love this tank uh, who's not gonna love this tank uh, big badass <laughs> ugly german you know i love the uh, i i play predominantly i mean I, i'm gonna i i play german tanks i like german tanks you know as a kid always fascinated with tanks fascinated with you know their names panther tiger you know yag tiger you know as a kid you know you used to build those airfix models younger viewers won't know what the hell i'm talking about but um love those badass you know german tanks you know anything german uh, during the world war ii uh, was badass and cool to me you know the bad guys always have the cool stuff you know um, Star Wars I mean <laughs> the Imperials they had the TIE Fighters they had the Death Star you know um, uh, what did the Rebels have they had the the Karelian whatever and the medical frigate and you know bad guys always have the cool shit you know that's why and it always looks cool it always looks badass and that's why you, you want it you want to play with it you know you want to shoot stuff with it you know so yeah so uh, like i said uh i'm eventually gonna you know run out of you know german tanks i'll have to move to the americans or the you know the british but the e100s 2700 hit points very nice you know, uh, if you go up against uh, you know, other tanks of similar, similar caliber, you know, it's like I said, it's all relative. Two, three shots, they're going to take you out. But if you're up against, you know, tier 7s, tier 8s, whatever, you know, they're going to have a tough time taking you out, you know. And um, the E100, uh, the, you know, typical example here, look at this uh, Cernavon, Cernavon, whatever it's called. I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, you can shoot at me. I couldn't give a toss. I got two. I'm in an E100. The artillery is in play, but I'm gonna get up against the hill, so I know they can't reach me. 
Both, I, I take him out. I got confidence. I got, I got. I ain't got skills, but I got just brute friggin' force. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, the E100. So the E100 is two different um, uh, packages that you can get, and uh, it's, but it's the only difference is the the guns and um, the lower tier is 128 millimeter. And the, the higher tier, the, the I'm sorry, the, the higher package is 150 millimeter. Now the, the, the first the first package does around 500 damage, and the second package ranges like from seven to 900. So that that's the only two differences between and uh, those two packages. The, uh, the rate of fire. It's slower of course on the second package but not, not that much you get like a uh, three rounds per minute as opposed to four rounds per minute on the on the on the first package and um, and uh, but uh, and it is a big heavy ass tank but the thing is you get 1200 horsepower now that, that's a lot of friggin horsepower you know for a whole load of tanks so there is mobility you know it's not a slow ass tank you know but it is it's humongous it's a you know it's as big as a bus it's a big you know big old target so you got to be smart when, uh, when playing you know and also when you're in you know you're in the E100 you, you you've got bags of confidence and that can be a good thing that can be a bad thing I mean I've played games in this thing and I've been taken out in like two three four five minutes you know because you think oh I'm in the wheat E100 get the hell out of here but you do find that people tend to gang up on you uh, when they see you coming they're like oh E100 you know gotta get our game faces on and you know two three four tanks coming at you from all sides I mean what are you gonna do you know you can only you've only got one gun you can only shoot you know three to four rounds per minute you know there's only so much you can do so you, you know it's all the tanks you gotta play it smart you know etc etc but um, I did manage to unlock this tank without converting um, my um, my tank XP I just kept on grinding out um, my E75 till I had enough for both packages. I, I, I believe this is actually uh, on the on the lower package, the first package, because I was trying out both packages. But um, but yeah, I did the uh, you know once a month. I, I, I every day I play. I t told you guys this before. I every day I play all my premium tanks and you know uh, and I accumulate all the tank XP that they. Uh, that they earn and uh, basically at the end of the month I, I convert it all into free XP and I use it to you know rank up but the, this time I actually didn't have to um, use my uh, free XP to get the E100 because I managed to get there in the end with my um, E75 so I'm gonna be using uh, I was playing a game recently and uh, this guy was just uh, dominating. Uh, actually, I, I recognized him. He was a YouTuber. I can't remember his name, Jack the Ripper or something like that. And uh, he was just dominating. He was just dominating the game. And he was on the opposing team. And um, he was just nailing everybody. And I checked out what tank he was in. And he was in a British, um, I think it's a tank destroyer. And uh, it's the F. V2 215B uh, 183 <laughs> See, you know, the Brits, they don't have cool names. You know, they need to have cool names for their tanks. Like the Germans do. Tiger, Panther, not FV 215B. So, anyway, so I've decided to go for this tank. And I've the, the FV 215B 183. And I'm going to go for this tank. And, um,. I'm not actually gonna go through any of the British tanks to get this tank. I mean, play them. I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing 
uh, playing my uh, premium German tanks, earning uh, my silver and my tank XP. And I'm just going to keep unlocking all the tanks leading up to the F FV21P. Unlocking all the packages, you know, and I'm going to keep going that way until I finally get the FV215P. And then, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cover it in German camo and German insignia. And I'm going to pretend it's German. <laughs> so anyway, oh, watch this guy, watch this guy, watch this guy. Whoa! <laughs> I like that. That was funny. But anyhow, yeah. So anyway, just uh, check in, uh, checking in, and um, I'm gonna try and upload a bit more. Um, I'm gonna try and you know do like a schedule, like upload every once a week, twice a week, or something like that. Um, but yeah, try and get a a schedule of sorts, and just be regular and be consistent, because I know that's important. And um, uh, so I appreciate all you guys, all your um, your likes and your subscribes and your views. I haven't had any comments so far. But anyhow, you know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the battlefield. See you on the next video. Adios.